Okay guys, first animals off the lot are the iguanas. So they're pretty big. Russ is touching our little baby alligator there. He's so cute. He can have the job of touching that one, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Where am I going to start today? Tigers, crocodiles, koalas, wombats, snakes, birds of prey. I'm going to have a look at that one. Australian lizards, kookaburras. Food court sounds pretty good to me. See you soon, guys. Okay, guys. So this is the giant tortoise and just to give you a better idea of how big they are there's another one that's just over here they're big hey so that's the giant tortoise or tortoise as they're called as well so okay guys this is the eastern brown snake and he's over two meters. And I'm just looking at the little information thingy there. I know he's one of the deadliest snakes that we have here in Australia. So let's see. If let's zoom in a bit on. Put this bump into him. So me and the snake, not good. The longest fangs of any Australian. So, this is the Taipan coming towards me. I'm glad there's glass. He has the longest fangs, apparently. Of, I've got my Russell reader here. The longest fangs of what, Russ? Any Australian snake and one of the deadliest. Any Australian snake and one of the deadliest. Up to three metres in length. There you go. And I'll tell you what, he's not little, is he? No, he's approximately about two metres, I would say. There we go. Got him full length, guys. There he goes. Now this is a Woma, guys, that's decided to start having a nice look at me. And he's putting on a little bit of a performance. I'll just step back a bit. It's not a bad size either. So that's a Woma. Don't know much about him. But yeah, he's finished his little look now. He's also only found here at Australia Zoo. Oh. He's almost extinct. He's almost extinct, so there you go. He's only found here at Australia Zoo. Okay, more snakes. Very pretty colours. And there he goes, back into his hole. Now guys, it's feeding time here in the bird aviary. So they're all hanging around everywhere. So we're just panning in on them and here they come. I know the food's just come out. And they're everywhere. Uh, cheeky chicken head, you were feeding one of these in your backyard last I remember. So I don't want out of wanna run out of film guys, so We'll keep going through. These guys are just absolutely gorgeous. And they're everywhere. And we haven't even, we've just walked in. In there somewhere. Yep, there he is. Okay guys, so I'm just 
giving a koala a little gentle, gentle stroke. Oh look, they feel like a little sheep. They're so cute. They're so so cute. Okay, and one good we go. Mm -hmm. Aren't they beautiful? I'm not allowed to get too close to this one because she might actually um, slap me in the face and I don't think I'd like that very much. So I'll leave her, him, alone. Now what better place is there for me to do a few angel cards in memory of Steve Irwin just to see if he's got a message for us. Okay. So a couple of angel cards in front of that big Buddha that I just showed you. Okay, this is for everyone. Um, and in memory of Steve Irwin. Okay, just while we're here. Consult an expert, which is what we've been doing all day. Um, navigating our way around. More information is needed and that is so true. Contact someone with expertise in this area and there's people everywhere doing that for us today thank you steve Irwin. um try different ventures and uh experiences that to, as a way to grow and learn and we haven't even got halfway through and i'm going to run out of tape so i'll stop at that guys i'll just do some angel cards in front of the buddha and we'll keep going through thank you Okay, we've got a tiger. So we're at the tiger thingy. And they're hiding over there in that tree. So I'll move this way. And here he comes. Look at that. Look at that, guys. So yes, I wanted to see a tiger. And there he goes. Now guys, we're at the elephants. Um, I am going to be able to feed one shortly, I hope. I just wanted to give you an, an idea of the sheer huge scale of these guys. Hold on. Look at that. Just wonderful. Okay, okay guys, here's Deb goodbye feeding the elephant. We'll turn around and let you work away. out which so one's which. And that was, that was really quick. Exit lines. We do have those. Okay, guys, so this is a red panda. They come from, where is it, Russ? The Himalayas. The Himalayas. There we go, and here it comes. So this is a red panda. Okay guys, now we're just approaching the Africa part of the park. So we're going to capture, I think it's some zebras and um, giraffes and I think a big rhino. Okay, so we'll spin around here now and have a look and see. Okay, so way off in the distance there, naturally, the zebras aren't coming any closer. But over here is the giraffes 
and there's a little bit of a better image of the giraffes and I'll see if we can get closer to the white rhino, the white rhinoceros in a second guys, okay, be with you in a minute. Okay guys, and there is the big white rhino, big white rhinoceros, and over there, I think just beside him is a little zebra. Yes? So there, that's the zebra. Look at the size of him compared to the zebra. Absolutely huge. They've done a really good job of this Africa section of the park. So I'm just panning out a little bit for you. It's just amazing. So apparently this was part of Steve Irwin's dream before he passed away was to get this put together. Unfortunately, he didn't get to see this, but we have the beauty of being able to. So the giraffes are going to get some fresh feed on their big branches. That's why they're all coming over because they've seen the truck come over with all their fresh new leaves. So they've decided to come over for a gathering. So everything's going to be tied up and they haven't even really waited until they start eating. And I don't blame them because I'm getting a bit hungry myself. Okay guys, so there's the giraffes for you again. But hopefully this time a little bit closer up for you. Aren't they gorgeous? So we're still at Australia Zoo. I thought I'd just take a few tarot cards for the spirit of Steve Irwin because he has done so much for conservation here in Australia and around the world as well. Although a lot of people have um, a few issues with the way he you know, goes in there and attacks and everything like that. I do feel that he has 80% has done a wonderful, fantastic job, especially walking around this place today. So I'm just taking a few cards with Steve Irwin in mind in this beautiful sanctuary of a place that he and his family have left as a legacy. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles, he is feeling very, very proud of what his family is doing and of everything that's happening in the financial way as well and the money that is being raised for conservation. So I'm doing this with Steve Irwin in mind. He's with that card as well, means um, unworkable money. So there is still a lot of money charity wise coming in for this place and the legacy of wildlife and conservation. Okay, his wife is doing a wonderful job um, spreading the news, spreading the word, along with his daughter as well. They are enjoying the finer things in life a little bit, but they shall never ever forget Steve Irwin's legacy. See if we can get a message from the man himself. Okay, he does hate that there is some sort of turmoil or conflict in between family members. At the moment, in the inner circles, there seems to be some sort of conflict there. I know, though, if someone else knows about that, please let me know. Okay, but there is two different directions going on in different areas. Okay, and I feel his daughter is going to do a lot for things coming up. Thank you so much. This is Deb Goodbye. See you later. Great. After that, crocodile large up south as prey with a tail winder. Not that fast on the hard solid ground. Thank you, Casper. That's it, come on. Oops. Oh. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
pictures back there, Casper. <laughs> Josh, where'd you go? Josh, can you grab it? <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> All right, how are we going to get that? Let's get Casper back towards the water. Come on, Casper. Fish is back. <laughs> See his tail start to get twitchy. The great thing about the clear water is I can watch his tail, so it really tells me a lot about what he's thinking about doing, when he's thinking about winding up. It's a little bit different when we do the shows over there. Come on. Come on, Casper. All right, you're making me nervous. <laughs> it's easier when you just come out fast and I know what you're doing. He's being sneaky. Sometimes they start off slow like this and they run at your feet. <laughs> you wouldn't run at my feet, don't you? I know you do. Look up at the fish. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Look at the fish, Casper. You're looking right past it. You're angry now, aren't you? Not really that hungry. Look at the fish. That's it. Come on. Alright, it's fair to say he's not real focused on the food today. You're really having an angry day today, aren't you? You're not just looking at the food straight away, you're just trying to work out how you can make me have a bad day. <laughs> I'm not going to hang out any further, buddy. <laughs> Come on. That's it. That's better. One bit. Alright, back around this way. Don't look at me. <laughs> thing about this ramp is Josh has been doing all the maintenance on it, so I don't feel real safe. <laughs> back around this side, that's it. Right around. You're <laughs> looking at me. Don't swing at me. Food's right there. Oh. Just let out a little hiss there. Come on, Casper. Look up. That's it. Here we go. There we go. All right. Hi, everyone. So I'm ending my day. This is Deb Good Vibe. Deb Good Vibe doing the Australia Park Zoo. This is Richard that gave us the little demonstration. Um, he actually knew Steve Irwin. So he's been here for how long, Richard? 15 years. 15 years. So I have been here for shows when Steve Irwin, Irwin was here as well. Yep. So I just want to say thank you and everyone misses him. And